Hi, I'm Sabrina Justison from SevenSistersHomeschool.com and this is step four in the writing process, articulation. This is where you get to write your thesis statement. It's important to remember that writing is a sequential process and having first completed steps one, two, and three will make this step not intimidating and not overwhelming, even though students often cringe when I say the words thesis statement to them. Articulation is basically just looking at the ideas you've already come up with, the writing voice you've chosen, and the support that you've jotted down on your scrap paper, and then asking yourself, okay, so what am I trying to say here? There are a number of different things that you could say about the same idea with the same support. You get to choose at this point. Last vlog, we looked at creating a descriptive piece about my perennial garden out front, and we jotted down a list of possible support um, things that could be included in a poignant piece. That was the voice that I had chosen. Well, I want to mix things up a little bit. We're going to write the same descriptive piece, but we're going to use a different voice. Let's go with the action voice this time. So we've got various pieces of support, and I've circled the ones that are going to fit best with an active descriptive piece. I've got things like butterflies and bumblebees circled, and my husband, because he works out in the garden and he works hard. And it's dirty work. That's circled too. Pulling weeds. That gets a circle and everything is always changing. So many different plants and so much going on. Okay, from there, the thesis statement is basically going to emerge from the thought process that's already taken place as I've come up with ideas and a plan and support. There are all sorts of different attacks for a piece like this, but here are two examples. Butterflies and bumblebees may be busy in my garden, but they can never keep up with my husband when he starts to weed. Now that's going to be a descriptive piece about the perennial garden, but the focus is going to be on my husband's work in the garden. It'll give it a very active tone and it'll move forward. Or here's something entirely different. There's so much life in my garden in summer. Insects on the move, my husband hard at work, and the plants themselves always growing, never taking a moment to rest. Again, this will be a descriptive piece about the garden and it will be active and full of life and movement but the focus is on the plants, always growing and changing from season to season. Many of the same pieces of support will show up, but choosing your thesis statement allows you to narrow the focus of your piece. You ask yourself, okay, what am I trying to say here? And that shows up as your thesis statement. I recommend jotting down two or three or four of these, again, on scrap paper. You're not committing to anything. And then the one that grabs you a few minutes after you've written it, it's probably the one that interests you the most. That's the one to write your piece around.